All right, making a little video here. Recently, we had a Freightline or International, sorry, it's 2015 with a Red Block Cummins, and it had a uh, little bit of a exhaust leak. Couldn't figure it out. Couldn't figure it out, and then we did a little digging, or I did a little digging. And we ended up figuring it out that there was this pipe right here. That, this piece right here, has got flex pipe in it. And it will start leaking. And well, for the guys that don't know how these regeneration systems work, that right there is a diesel injector that injects diesel in. And that piece of flex that we were looking, I just showed you, is right there. And it breaks so there you go so if you got a mystery leak but it's pretty simple to change take your inner fender out you know you got to remove your inner fender here and the bolts here take that out take your side step off which is pretty simple and then you just you got to take this bracket off which is pretty simple it's just these two bolts here and two bolts there and get that out of the way then you just take your clamp there off your clamp there off and then there's a bolt right there that holds that hanger and you just pencil it right on out pretty simple then put the new one in and make sure to put gaskets in there there's crush uh, them tin foil crush gasket looking thingies forget what the name of it is called I haven't had my coffee yet so please forgive me for that today anyways pretty simple fix uh, plus little thing it'll do is uh, you'll uh, get Knox codes you'll get Knox codes exhaust pressure codes efficiency codes whatever it'll th start throwing some weird codes once in a while things like that and uh, yeah had it in to do a little repair work for a deer hit and figured I better get it changed before a driver got sick from exhaust fumes. You have yourselves a good day. Thank you for watching.